Welcome to my guide on how to make Dragon Bane bolts and or arrows as these are needed for my most recent guide on how to kill rune dragons. These bolts are also very good for adamant dragons, king black dragon which I don't suggest since you do kill him fairly quickly and most notably the queen black dragon. You will hit higher on these if you're using low tier weapons since these do have a little more accuracy buff. For the requirements, you will need Virtual of the Majroth quest completed, 80 mining if you are an Iron Man. If not, you can simply buy the Bainite ore off the Grand Exchange. 80 smithing, 87 magic, and to be on the Lunar Spellbook, 80 fletching along with some feathers, and then 22 invention if you wish to get some invention experience with the augmented hammer or the hammer tron. As for my setup, I do prefer an elemental battle staff or an earth staff, a staff of earth or anything, along with the sixth age circuit and you will need the astral runes and lastly a dragon hide of any type or a dragon bone open your lunar spellbook and then go to the high alchemy tab click on the tune bainite ore spell and then make sure to click on your dragon hide or the dragon bones and then Confirm and then you will automatically start making the Dragon Bainite ore. The feathers, if you are an Iron Man, you are able to buy 1000 feathers from Lombridge, Alcriad, Port Serum, or Miscellanea Kingdom. Once you have the Dragon Bainite ore, Go to a furnace so you can smelt it. And then in the middle where it says ore smithing, masterwork, specialist ore smithing, you'll want to click on the dragon bane bar and then confirm it to make the ore. Once you are done smithing and you do have the 6th age circuit, you will want to make your way to the world gate. From here run south and if you need to you can quick dial it and make sure to send it to option 2 which is Kenshi and then enter it. Hopefully you do not have an aggression potion active and if you do well the rune dragons will pretty much kill you Run south and then make sure to climb up the stairs and then southeast to the building From here you will see a for Forge and the anvil right click the forge and then open smithing interface on the left side go to the Kenshi smithing the icon is underneath the miscellaneous smithing with the god sword shard it's directly to the left of it and then here you can make bolts or arrowheads once you begin it you will heat the forge and then make sure you're 100% and then afterwards you can right click it to make another And then right click it again to make another this is so that you do not constantly have to go to back to the Vernus and then heat it and now click on the anvil with the method I showed you by opening up the smithing interface and then making more 
your player will automatically start the next unfinished smithing item granted that he has them available now for each item the dragon bane bolts and or arrows each bar takes about one minute you can be lucky and speed it up with using the juju smithing potion the masterwork stroke potion or the smithing cape or the invention perk or wrap it too but honestly if you make these like a full inventory of 25 you will make enough to last you a very long time and as you saw I finished that item I immediately got 75 and I automatically start onto the next smithing item and remember the logout timer is five minutes so you can come back like every four minutes just make sure you have more of the smithing item they look a little copperish in the inventory Once this bar is completed, I will show you how to add feathers to it. But keep in mind, if you are making Dragon Bane arrows, you will need arrow shafts along with feathers to make the headless arrows to add the Dragon Bane arrow tips to those to make the Dragon Bane arrows. I prefer bolts, considering that Ascensions or Shadow Glavens are usually better and cheaper than the 2H version of it. Once you have made enough of the bolt tips or the arrow tips, you can click on either of them and then feather it. And this is where the 80 fletching is a requirement. And then just simply make it like so. You do make these rather fast so it can be kind of good smithing experience but it's kind of up to you although remember one bar makes 75 and let's say you make 25 in inventory you will have 1875 bolts and or arrows which will last a long time while you're killing the queen black dragon king black dragon or any type of dragons although I usually recommend just using them on the rune dragons which is nearby thank you all so much for watching this little short guide on how to make dragon bane bolts and or arrows thank you all so much and enjoy the rest of your day